Believe it or not, but this car is actually black. And even when it's completely filthy like this, it's still not smart enough to drive itself through a car wash. So stay tuned guys, you do not want to miss this one. Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Now today I'll be working on one of the most technologically advanced vehicles on the road. That's right, it's a 2022 Tesla Model 3 and it's in desperate need of a detail. Okay guys, well moving to these carpeted wheel well liners and if you've watched the channel for a while you'd know I detailed a similar Model 3 a couple years back and you may have heard that Tesla has taken a lot of flack for their quality over the last number of years but I can say that after working on this one today things do seem to have proved a bit in the overall fit and finish although of course my sample size is pretty small. Now as I work my way around the Tesla, you might be noticing that the water is beating nicely off the paint and that's because this car has a ceramic coating on it, which isn't something I see on vehicles all that often, but if any of you out there have ever wanted to get your own vehicle coated, well it's absolutely something you can do yourself. I've actually got a video over on the second channel going through the entire process on a Ford Mustang GT, so be sure to give that one a look if you're interested. Now as I work on cleaning the wheels, I figured I'd quickly mention that this Tesla doesn't have all wheel drive, so having winter tires on it is likely pretty critical, especially with it being so low to the ground. There's lots of residential streets in the city that don't get plowed over winter, which means they can get rutted pretty easily, and even that can be enough to get a car stuck, let alone all the snow we get, so winter tires are definitely a smart choice by the owner.
Okay, starting on these floor mats, which are a bit unique in that they aren't rubber like most of them are, but rather a triple layered mat with the top layer being PVC coated. Some quick research tells me they're similarly priced to WeatherTech mats, though as this is only the second time I've seen them, I can't speak to their durability or whether they get stained over time like the WeatherTech ones do. All right guys, well, just before I get started vacuuming, I need to address something, and that is what is inside this box. Now, some of you might have noticed this box sitting here in the last video in the Porsche Cayenne, uh, and honestly, the reason it's out here is because, well, I need to keep it safe from Mike's prying eyes. He's been looking over my shoulder and hounding me about this as I've been working on it for the past few weeks now. But while I can't tell you exactly what's in there yet, just know that the answer is coming very soon, and it is a heck of a lot bigger than what can fit in this box. Okay guys, well, while I get to work on vacuuming, what I can tell you is that the answer to what's in the box is coming in the upcoming Quick Fix episode on Tuesday right here on the main channel. So besides the quicker and more satisfaction packed format, that's just another reason to be watching every week. So if you're at all curious what's got Mike all wound up, then be sure to watch the Quick Fix episode on Tuesday. Okay, well, while I finish this carpet off here, I'm sure some of you are curious as to its quality, and I can tell you that nothing has changed in the last couple of years. It's still just one step above the cheap Velcro-like stuff that everyone hates so much, but the saving grace here is that the floor mats did their job well, and there's not too much for dirt and debris to get sucked up.
All right, guys, well, because the floor mats in this vehicle actually did such a good job of protecting the carpets underneath, I can skip straight over the extracting process because there is not a speck of dirt left in those carpets after vacuuming. So what that means is that I can now switch my focus to cleaning the interior, all the plastics and the seats. And while a lot of the time you're gonna see me use my steamer and all-purpose cleaner to tackle a dirty interior, with this Tesla, because the plastics are only lightly dirty, what I'm gonna do is spray on some 10 to one all-purpose cleaner right into a damp microfiber towel, wipe the door down, and then just wipe it down with a dry one. All right, well, while I work on getting the frunk cleaned, I figured I'd quickly discuss a few of the super cool features Tesla offers, one of those being full self-driving capability, which sadly this Model 3 does not have, as it's not the wisest upgrade considering our roads are covered in snow for half the year, and without seeing the lines, the feature doesn't work, although it does have the autopilot feature. And one other cool piece of tech in the car is the ability to summon it, which I was able to demonstrate in the video from a couple years back, so if you're curious what that looks like, then be sure to check that one out too. All right guys, well, turning to the leather now, and uh, this is gonna look a little bit different this week, is this Tesla actually has what's called vegan leather, um, which basically like the name sounds, it's not made from animal hide like regular leather is. It's actually man-made and it's made from plastics. So because of that, using harsh cleaners on them isn't recommended. So basically all I'm gonna do is use a damp microfiber towel to clean them and then a separate one to dry them. All right, well, since this car is ceramic coated, I'm going to use my graphene spray coating to essentially boost the coating and keep it performing its best. But this spray coating can also be used as a standalone product on any vehicle like you've seen me do countless times before, and it'll ensure the Tesla stays super glossy and that water beads like crazy off of it. You can find it on my website at detailgeekautocare.com where worldwide shipping is available.
All right guys, well a quick seven hours later and this Tesla is looking truly spectacular. And I remember saying a couple years back when I did that white Model 3 that they were pretty rare around that time and there really weren't too many on the road, but they are a lot more popular now. There's quite a few around here, so maybe I'll see some more coming up. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this transformation, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to check me out on other social media like TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Enjoy the guitar outro, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.